Good morning and welcome to Today in the Valley as we take a look at Missouri Valley's news, weather, and sports. Good morning and welcome to Today in the Valley. I'm Nathan Gertz. And I'm Randy Beck with your weather forecast. Today we're going to have clouds and gradually becoming sunny with a high near 42. Tonight it's going to be mostly clear with a low around 22. Friday mostly sunny with a high near 40. Saturday we'll have a chance of rain and snow high around 41 with a 50% chance of precipitation. Sunday we're going to have snow likely with a high near 30 and a 70% chance of, of snow. Thanks Randy. Missouri Valley College is known for its diverse student population. Matt Marino tells us about some of the students who have traveled thousands of miles to attend MVC. Did you know that the Missouri Valley College in Marshall, Missouri has over 20 different nations represented by international students like Brazil, <laughs> Germany, and Spain. And those being almost one-third of the entire student population? But living away from home might have a lot of disadvantages. Daniela Cheda, a junior student from Spain, definitely feels that the American culture is really different from hers. People are really different here. People here are super friendly. Everybody smiles at you. Everybody talks to you like they're your friends. And in Spain, you can find that. If you talk to someone, you're like a weirdo. <laughs> Almost every single international student, doesn't matter where they come from, miss the same things, food and family. However, Lilian Blasky, a sophomore from Brazil, when asked about what she misses most from home, did not even think twice before answering. I think it's the way people relate to each other. Uh, Brazilians are way warmer than Americans are. When asked if there is any regrets of leaving his house and family and traveling over thousands of miles, Lucas Schattenberg, a freshman volleyball player from Germany, is pretty aware that there is nothing to be regretful for and will do it all over again. No, I don't have them because I think that's going to be an experience that I had to make, especially to become the person I'm going to end up with. It is really impressive how diverse cultures can be. Blasky believes that Brazilians and Americans have really different lifestyles. Uh, Americans are used to living this fast life and everything is fast, like the way they prepare their food and everything. So, and Brazilians are way slower for this kind of thing. Besides having to live totally different lifestyles, these students come to America to have the opportunities that they would not have back home. When asked why she decided to move to America, Cheda had a response right away. The opportunities they give you, they, everything seems pretty easy to get and they don't put you as many um, oppositions to like get a job or do something with your life. I am Matt Marino reporting for KMVC. The Flatliners is an improv group made up of MVC students. Nathan had a chance to visit with several of the members. The old saying goes that laughter is the best medicine. If that truly is the case, then Missouri Valley College in Marshall, Missouri is a fairly healthy place, thanks to the comedic stylings of the Flatliners, an improvisational theater troupe made up of MVC students like junior Tyrone Harris. I say the most interesting thing is brainstorming, coming up with a bunch of just jokes that you would say in a normal standby area, and then going together and going, hey, what if that is actually a thing? Or, hey, what if it's a large array of scenario-based comedy put together? And I feel it really shows off our creative minds. The group performs every other Wednesday night at 9.30 in the evening in the Morris Experimental Theater, located just below McDonald Hall on the MVC campus. They meet three times a week to practice their craft by playing improv games and learning the different types of show formats. Freshman Tyler Devine says that being a part of the Flatliners has really helped him sharpen his acting skills and has also allowed him to enjoy the experience. It's actually a lot of fun. I mean, I get to do improv, and it's basically just playing improv games, which is what I really like to do. The most valuable thing would definitely have to be learning how to do long form, because that's something I've never done before. And then the most fun thing is probably better than Family Guy. 
It's a great game. In this game, you basically like have two people in the center, and then the rest of them are on the sides, and it's whenever, like, they make a scene, but as soon as you think of something to do, you have to make a different scene off of what they're doing, and you just keep going until it gets incredibly crazy. Being a part of an improv group means that actors are often challenged to work outside their comfort zone. Heather Hill is the only senior amongst the Flatliners this year, and she says that being a part of the troupe has really allowed her to let her personality shine through. Um, I have actually learned a little bit more self-confidence. Um, I'm actually a really shy person, and I get stage fright really easy. And so improv kind of keeps you on your toes, and you get to work with a bunch of different people, and they have your back, so you're not as afraid to fail. So, I mean, in just everyday situations, I'm not as shy talking to people now, thanks to improv. To those who may not be sure if comedic improv is their cup of tea, Hill says that just watching one show can open up a whole new world of creative inspiration. It opens like countless doors. I mean, if you can just make something up at the drop of a hat, why does it have to just be theater? You could make up different business proposals or, I mean, just different family events. I mean, I think creativity can be helped inspired from improv. So the next time you're feeling down and out, go have a laugh courtesy of the Missouri Valley Flatliners. For KMVC, I'm Nathan Gertz. Randy came to Missouri Valley to participate in rodeo. Recently, she had a chance to profile another member of the MVC rodeo team. Being an athlete in college is a challenge. From keeping grades up to making every practice, it's not an easy task. But things got a little easier for Chelsea Merrigan when she switched from basketball to rodeo. Not only did her grades improve, but she said it made her feel whole. I wanted to try basketball because, like I said, now was the time and it just, something just felt like it was missing. I know, I've grown up on a farm and grown up around horses my entire life and rodeoed my entire life and just been kind of a outdoors person and while I played basketball I really didn't get a rodeo at all so it just felt like something was missing in my life. Things went just the way she hoped they would, her first year of college rodeo. First year on the team in 2013, I was the Ozark Region Breakaway Champion. Not only did Chelsea come out winning a region championship, but along the way, she helped and inspired others to do just the same. Senior Hilton Peoples says she's great to have around. Um, I think Chelsea definitely has had all but a negative. She's been great here. Um, she makes me smile. She makes me want to work harder. She drives me to win, and she's just she's a great friend. Recently, Chelsea lost her mother to cancer after a long battle. Since then, Chelsea does whatever she can do to help someone. I think her work ethic makes her outstanding for our program. She's always willing to help you or help you fix what's wrong if you can't figure something out in the practice pen, and she's willing to go the extra mile with anybody. Whether it's help in the practice pen or on homework, Chelsea's always willing to help. Sports or academics, Chelsea shows that you can do both and succeed. All you have to do is keep your chin up and drive hard. For KMVC, I'm Randy Beck. Roger Holloway caught up with two Marshall teens who hope to make it big in the music business. Seventeen-year-old singer Jude Staley and eighteen-year-old guitarist Jordan Holloway may seem like a couple of average teenagers, but four months ago they teamed up to form an alternative folk duo called Into Tomorrow. Just one day we talked about hanging out and jamming or whatever, and yeah, we uh, thought about putting a video up on Facebook if we got a certain amount of likes for a status or whatever, and we ended up getting those likes or whatever, and then eventually a couple weeks after that we posted another video and another video and, and then after a few weeks we finally created a band page and it's just kind of been a nice little roller coaster ride from there. Jude has had several years of vocal coaching and is currently in the Marshall High School Choir. Recently he has received an honorable achievement award at District.
Jordan has been playing music since the fifth grade and has a variety of instruments at his disposal, such as the violin, clarinet, alto sax, keyboard, and his favorite, guitars. is my favorite right now because it fits our style. Into Tomorrow has written nine of their own songs and love to perform whenever and wherever they get the chance. We played at the Missouri State Fair. We also performed at uh, St. Jude's Cancer Benefit and we performed at the high school recently uh, one of our own songs and anything else? Uh, just kind of jam for some friends yeah, at some parties and stuff, but that's about it. To find out more about Into Tomorrow, visit their Facebook page, Into Tomorrow. This is Roger Holloway, reporting for KMBC. Thanks, Roger. Let's take a look at our Viking Sports Minute and discuss some of the sporting events happening on the Missouri Valley College campus. Tonight, the women's and men's basketball team has a doubleheader against Central Methodist University, with the girls' game beginning sometime around 5.30 and the men's scheduled to tip at 7.30. You can listen and watch those games with the live stream video feed and stretch internet radio feed. You can find the links to those at the school website, moval.edu. Tonight is the Orange Hush game, so fans are encouraged to come out and be quiet until the team scores its first bucket, after which the crowd goes wild. There will be prizes available to all the fans who end up showing up. That's a look at our Viking Sports Minute. Let's take one final look at the weather forecast. Randy? Today we'll have cloudy, with gen uh, cl cloudy then generally becoming mostly sunny with a high near 42. Tonight we'll have mostly clear skies, around low around 22. Friday we'll have mostly sunny and high near 40. Saturday we'll have a chance of rain and snow before noon with a 50% chance of precipitation and a high near 41. Sunday, we'll have snow likely with a high near 30 and a 70% chance of snow. Thanks, Randy. And thank you for joining us for Today in the Valley. For Randy Beck, I'm Nathan Gertz.